Good once again, my name is Graphics. Today we want to solve another example on simple machine, but in this case we are dealing with a pulley. Right? So now it says that a set of pulley has a set of pulley block has four pulleys. So what that simply means is that what in the data given since it's telling us it has four pulley, it means our velocity ratio is what is four because it has four pulley and three in the lower block. So since you have four in the upper block and three in the lower, so it will be four plus what three, and the total velocity ratio there will be what seven. Are we good? So we search forward. Now we are not told that um. This lifting tackle, an effort of 120 newton is required to raise a mass of what 60 kilogram. So the effort given here is equals to 120 what 120 newton, right? Then a mass of what 60 kilogram. Now, if we want to convert our mass to force. We are going to multiply it by what? By 10. So our weight, the gravity given, the gravity given, since it is told that it's trying to overcome a gravity, right? Or well, the gravity given is giving us 9.81 meter per second square. So then our weight that is trying to lift to be mass times what? Gravity. So the mass times gravity, this will not give us the weight, will not give me 160 multiplied by 9.81 and that will be 60 multiplied by 9.81. So we have 60 multiplied by 9.81 and that will give me 588.6, 588.6 Newton. So we have converted our to Newton now. That is first step. Now, what we are also told here is uh, we are told to look for calculate the efficiency. We are told to calculate our efficiency of the device as at this load. So, what is the efficiency when the device is trying to lift this load? So, one thing you need to understand here is that what um, recall. Recall our efficiency is equal to what mechanical advantage all over what velocity ratio, right? Multiplied by 100 percent that's our efficiency. Is that the key? Now we also know very well that we are giving the weight and we are giving the effort, so we know that our mechanical advantage is equal to what load. Which is also the weight over what over effort, and this will give what, what is the weight given? We have five eight eight point six, all over the effort given, which is what one hundred and twenty. So the mechanical advantage of this will now be equals to what four point nine zero five. Is that the key? Four point nine zero five. So since we have gotten our mechanical advantage. We will now impute it, let me call it to be my equation 1 here. So, put mechanical advantage equals to 4.905 in equation 1. So, we will now be having that. Uh, the efficiency will now give me mechanical advantage which is what? 4.905 over velocity ratio. The relationship is given as 7 as calculated earlier, multiplied by what? 100. So my efficiency, my efficiency here will now give me what? 70.07%. So that is my efficiency of the machine. Now we are now told that um, calculate the efficiency and the effort. We need what? The effort to overcome that efficiency right so the effort 
our efforts force efforts hmm, to overcome friction right so we'll call it e effort to overcome subscript what f which is friction and that will give us one minus the efficiency hmm, multiplied by what the effort of the load required to lift the load so one minus efficiency multiplied by the effort required to lift the load so this will now give us one minus our efficiency given is 70 point zero seven percent so it means that seventy point zero seven percent times what divided by hundred that's what it means that's what this means so we divide it by hundred so we'll be having zero point seven zero zero seven we have zero point seven zero zero seven that's our efficiency that's the meaning of this so we're having zero point seven zero zero seven so multiply by the effort of the load the effort of the load is what 120 newton this is what we have here e so the effort of the load is effort required to lift the load is 120 newton right so in a nutshell if you solve this out 1 minus 0 0.007 1 minus 0 0.00 1 minus 0 0.7007 give us 0 0.2993 times 120 and we're going to be having 3591 newton so thanks for watching and don't forget to click on the subscribe button